This is the Iowa Weather Report for Thursday, November 7th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have a northwesterly flow aloft, and that's going to keep the temperatures quite cool across the state today, with highs mainly in the 40s to around 50 degrees, but any precipitation will be well off to our east across the eastern seaboard and also across the Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies. That system to our north and west will be moving a little bit closer here on Friday, and that'll be over the plains up into Minnesota. That could scrape the state with maybe an isolated shower, maybe in our northern tier counties. Highs will be boosted with the southwesterly winds back into the 50s for most areas, and it looks to remain the case on Saturday with that system moving across the U.S.-Canadian border into the Great Lakes. The winds will be turning around to the north and west, but temperatures will still likely be in the 50s. It will start to cool off here on Sunday, maybe a skosh cooler. Highs may be mid to upper 40s north to low to mid 50s south. But you can see a high pressure over Saskatchewan is going to start to nose into the area. And with the disturbance coming down, you can see some snow will begin to break out in the Dakotas and Montana. That looks to sweep into the state Monday night late. There could be some snow also in the Great Lakes with this system as this high begins to nose down. We could see some decent amounts of snow if this is right Tuesday across the areas mainly along and south of Highway 30. Could see a couple of inches. Can't determine that at this point. Temperatures back into the 30s and it's going to be quite cold Wednesday morning. We could see if we have a snowpack we could see lows in the teens to near 20 and highs Wednesday during the day may struggle to the freezing mark if this is right. Snow will be in the mid-Atlantic with this system here by next Thursday. Really digging in across the mid-Atlantic over about Washington, D.C. into the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. We have another trough axis coming at us, but the main parent storm will be around the mid-Atlantic into southern New England with some air with some rain along the coast, snow in the interior, especially in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. Around here, it's still cold with highs around 40. Going into the extended period, on November the 18th, we have a trough trying to dig its way down, kind of a flat trough over the west from about Iowa, the Mississippi River, really westward. And with the southerly winds, that'll bring some rain across our area. Snow will be over the Dakotas and into the north and west with rain in the valleys. Temperatures looking like about 50 or so at this point, but we can determine that later. At the end of the forecast, November to the 22nd, we have a little bit of a flat ridge over mainly Texas. A bit of a westerly flow across the area. Fairly big storm over eastern Canada. And that'll be really bringing a lot of interesting weather across far northern New England. But we have southwesterly winds. That's going to boost temperatures back to the 50s with some rain and a little bit of snow to our north and west. The satellite image from last evening, we had a system moving off to well off to our east. That brought us the rain this past couple of days. We have uh, the clouds over the east into New England and the clouds over the Pacific Northwest. Watch morning map from last evening. We had a few little winter weather advisories across the northern Rockies and the northern Cascades. Frost and freeze advisories in New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas, and elsewhere fairly quiet. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Monday evening at 6 o'clock, showing nothing around here. Our next chance of precipitation is after this period. Any precipitation will be in the northwest and along the eastern seaboard.